Baltimore Charity is trying to raise $6 million for a new inpatient drug rehab building in the city. As Mike Shue reports, to raise money, tomorrow they're asking people to pay them to walk off the edge of a building. Watch this. A Baltimore Charity needed an idea for its annual fundraiser, but the donor said no more golf tournaments, no more fancy dinners. So what they did is called... The name of the event is Over the Edge for Recovery. Literally, people are going over the edge of a building? Your donors, where do they go? Over the edge. Hey, people said to us, not another dinner, not another golf tournament. Got to do something different. Well, this is it. For $1,000, you're here. Supporting Godenzia. It's the largest nonprofit inpatient drug rehab in Baltimore. I was sick and tired of me. After 19 tries, Godenzia helped LaTanya Carroll to be clean from crack. At a point, you thought it was easier to kill yourself than it was to give up the drug. Right. Now you know where the money's going. What about that building? Silo Point is 23 stories tall, 270 feet at the drop zone. So who's going over? Why, me. I'm not going to kid you. I'm terrified. Matt, who is on rope? The knocking knees hinder that first step onto the ledge. Dry mouth, little shaky knees. That's the human body telling you that this might not be the best thing to do. <laughs> that is the chimp part of your brain saying, are you sure about this, isn't it? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm not sure at all, but yeah, let's do it. I mean, <laughs> come on. Right here, trusting the rope and not looking down. The wind is howling at 40 miles an hour. I'm 270 feet above the earth. If you could hear fear, this is what it would sound like. And that's going to be slippery metal. <laughs> Once over, you, well, well, I just stared straight ahead. Watch this, my cameraman friend is yelling, hey, Spider-Man. That, my friends, is a long, long way down. This is the most frightening thing I have ever done in my life, bar none. It's my heart rate is just going. I haven't looked down yet. I don't know if I'm gonna. Is it a long way? The last 150 oh feet, goodness. Ah, no problem, like a pro. Holy cow. Oh, that's something. <laughs> okay, only 80 people are going to be able to rappel off Silo Point tomorrow. They have less than five slots left. <laughs> If you are interested, you're out of your mind. No, you can find a link to uh, whom to contact on our website. Go to WJZ.com. They expect to raise $40,000 in this event. Shouldn't they raise $80,000? Well, they probably have to pay for all the ropes yeah, and all maybe that so. stuff. I, mean, so I, I, have a, uh, I was up at the top of that building with a government official, a high-ranking government official, who is afraid of heights. <laughs> And he was not happy. He's, he will not be volunteering for the five slots that are left tomorrow. I guarantee you, I know who this person is, and they will not be volunteering. Uh, well, else. Mike was in the newsroom. He survived. Yeah, it. I saw him back there. Great. He's alive. We yes. salute you, Mike. Yeah. That was great. Woo. I could barely watch. That's